Hello and welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. So, there have been two murders, and we have discovered a secret power within ourselves called a Persona. And we defeated the dark spirit, negative thought side of Yosuke. I think you're meant to not pronounce the U is what I've been told, so I'll try and say that right. Next time someone in game says it, I'll make sure to take a note of it and do it properly. Uh, as I said, some of the names are going to be a little bit off, but I'll try my best. Um, so, I believe we've talked to everyone here, but we'll check. It goes faster when there are two people washing the dishes. Oh yeah, I said I would wash the dishes. Well, you know, let's do that then. Because it isn't used very often, the kitchen is organized. If there are ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. Well, I thought I was helping with the dishes. I guess not. Maybe we've already done them. Nothing in the fridge. I'm just going to leave then and then hope that we're okay. It's raining tonight. Something may appear on TV. You should go back to your room and check the TV. Give me two seconds to see if there's anything else to click on. I don't believe that there is, so yes, I will do and suggest it. Okay. Oh, okay. We're, we can stop right here, but wait. I need to I need to move my head closer. Is that an, is that a Persona Three calendar? I think it is. I can't quite see it. It's very small, but yeah, I think that is. Uh, anything else? Lots of CDs. That is definitely a CD player. Uh, beyond that, yeah, not much else to really analyze in this room. I'm fairly certain that's a Persona 3 calendar. Will something appear on TV? In other Inaba-related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. Oh, good. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Well, I think I know who's uh, in there this time. The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. Wait, no, I don't. But wait, is that? That's, Yu that's Yuki, right? Her silhouette appeared. It seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. Definitely. The image is so out of focus that you can't really tell who it is. What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? The image disappeared. I'm just having a look at his bookshelf, see if there's anything we can notice. Not really. I mean, there's a book called Gags, but it appears to be some kind of guitar-based book. It's got a magazine for something I can't quite read. Yeah, th th we're not getting a lot of information here. You should speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decide to go to bed for tonight. Ah. That was the music I thought I originally heard, which is why I was like, ah, I know who this is. And then, obviously, very different music. This is... Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. That seems like something to be alarmed about. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. Thereby, 
enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. Obtained Velvet Key. I assume that will let us come back here whenever we want, somehow. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. Your soul. <laughs> no? You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Oh, that seems very easy. I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Okay. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Special? The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Control one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. All right. I feel like I know less than when I first came in here. Okay. It's Saturday, no school. On the other hand, we appear to be walking to school. So there's school on a Saturday. That must be a cultural Yo. difference between Japan and where I am. Hey. You saw what was on last night, right? Yeah, but could you just say your name out loud for me? Just once or twice? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. Okay. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Hmm. It has to be us. Cool. It's reassuring to hear someone else say it. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Oh, so now that he... I'm guessing it's because he's awakened, he can now do it? Is that logic behind it? Could be. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Yeah, okay. Essentially what I said. Persona, wasn't it? could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. I did just notice that his bike is made by Atlas. That's a good touch. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of the friendship between you and Yosuke. I hate that it's made me say the name so many times when I had a pronunciation thing brought up. Oh. That 
Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shall be blessed when creating personas of the magician Arcana. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links. Is this bond with Yosuke what Igor was talking about? You've established the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the magician Arcana. Yosuke's uh, determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up and knock down ally during battle. Very useful given our first battle and how it went. Your ally may help someone who was knocked down get back on their feet. Awesome. We get general knowledge at school? No. Uh, Chie! Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. Agreed. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn and she wore it during that interview a few days ago too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No. You summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying... Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. No good! Her voicemail picked up! She she's not answering! Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Sure. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. She's there! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Um, uh, nah. It was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. Okay. So, maybe the Midnight Channel isn't an immediate thing, or... Hmm. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. <laughs> she said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. Yosuke. Yosuke. Right. I'll try and get it right. She was totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? <laughs> so sorry. But there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? P 
people show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Okay. You explain to Chie in detail again uh, what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. I'm just captivated by the couple behind. I'm wondering what their, their deal is. The one on the right seems very into the TV. And the one left has a very stern look like, no, we're not getting this TV. I don't know. I want to know more about their story. You see, they're arguing. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. I, I didn't expect for them to, for those two characters to be referenced by the game, but there we go. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? You tried beckoning Teddy over. Something bit you. What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! Oh, now she's looking over here. Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I'll be alright. Wow, that looks like it hurts. Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. Hey, you! We know you're in there. Oh, oh is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so... barren. <laughs> oh, no. 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 The, no. Shut it! Thank you. So there's no one inside? You're sure? is running as good as ever. <sighs> I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Okay. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Do we even have a cell? I guess so. You exchange cell numbers with Yosuke. Alright, don't forget to watch tonight. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? Maybe it was just somebody who looked like her. Hmm. You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. Oh. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic, and now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. 
Yeah, but what about the guy? And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. Well, that answers that question. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse, but I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was hauled up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Well, it could be the par one of uh, the parents at the inn or something, but I'm, I, I don't buy that. I think there's something a uh, missing piece we don't have. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Maybe. Okay, hear me out. It appears to be like the main news story was the affair, right? And then the per someone from the affair was killed. Main news story turned to be the murder, and then the person was killed, right? Main news story is the inn. You see where I'm going here? Maybe the connection is actually just whoever's on the news. Okay. Which would mean it's whoever's on the TV linking in the TV angle. Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. Hmm, doubt it. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Okay. So I'm forming my own ideas. Welcome home. That that's not what the uh that's not what the text says. Can you just say welcome back? Okay. Right. Hello. Well. Hmm. This answer is hard. Nanako is absorbed in the quiz show. You should leave her alone. A quiz show is on TV. What did I expect? Um, anything in the fridge? Nope. Alright then, I think I'm gonna save and then go up to my room. Let's save, and then, you know what? Nah, I'm just gonna leave. It's raining through the night again. You should go back to your room. Okay, fair enough. Let's head upstairs. Watch TV in your room. Okay. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Oh. It's a properly animated cutscene. Good evening! Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud! Welcome uh, to not a dream, not a hoax! Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming! And I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom! I'm out to catch a whole harem and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! Uh, okay. Sure.
so that's the side that she's been hiding from the world. Okay. That was definitely Yukiko on Midnight Channel just now. Hey, did you see that? Yeah. That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? Um... Try to contact Chie. You're right. Let's get her to contact you, san No. I was saying contact her so we could all go to the, uh, to Juness and get in TV. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. Okay. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. You decide to go to bed early tonight. Okay. Oh, it's sunny. Oh, good morning. Good morning. It seems that only Nanako is here. Where's your father? He left already. He said he's going to be late. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have an import you have important business of Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? Uh, I'll be fine by myself. Yeah. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Uh... You decided to go out. Thank you for not making me make that choice. Because I know where I wanted to go, but I know where I would be responsible to go. Sorry for the holdup. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Um... Okay... Might be useful in there, but, like, are people not going to question you holding them in the middle of a food court? We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. I do love how the random NPCs will look over and go, what the hell is going on here? So, which one strikes your fancy? Well, I mean, you know, is the katana. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. Oh. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Both? Kinda like this? Yeah, maybe. Or like this? Sure. What about this? That seems dangerous. Uh, yep, there's a police officer. Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Huh? Oh, crap, I mean... No, 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 this, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. It, oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Yeah, stop digging. Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too! I said now! But, but, this isn't... Put the weapons down. Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! You were taken to the police station with Yosuke as suspects. Oh, no. Oh no. Dojima isn't gonna like this. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? 
Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Oh dear. Hey! Did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Okay, thank you for letting us go. Whoa, pardon me. Hello. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um... Am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? Sure. We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamano was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. Oh, and that's why Yukiko is taking over. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? Mm-hmm. By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Of course. We wouldn't rat you out. Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Hey, chill out. Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Okay. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... Do you think the no drug sign was cur was put up there before or after they finished the game? Just a thought. There you are! Jeez, what are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere! Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up! So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear! I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. That wasn't quite what we were told, but okay. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? Oh! <gasps> What the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, dammit, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Um, you know what? Let's just try and get the mood down to a better level. Let's all calm down. You're, you're right. So, what are we going to do? With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? But man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Where could you possibly know? Oh, okay. Oh, it's the blacksmith. That makes sense. Here we are. 
What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. The guy is right behind you. You know, just a little bit of tack. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Um... Oh, all right. Psh, I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. But man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Okay. Receive 5,000 yen from Yosuke. Now, I believe that's not actually that much money. But okay. I appreciate it. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? Uh... You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Yeah, that'll go down well if we're ever searched. Why do you have these concealed weapons on you? Oh, no reason. We're just going into a mystical TV realm to fight shadows and ourselves and our inner demons. Yeah, I'm sure they'll, they'll be fine. Okay, let's try that. Oh, I mean, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Sure. Have you come to see my art? Please look around, take your time. Okay, let's talk. If you want something special, bring me your own materials and I'll try to use them for you. I always like seeing new things and trying new techniques. So bring me some rare materials that I've never seen before. If you do, I can make you some really cool stuff. When choosing what to create, the number and type of materials varies. If you bring me the proper materials, I can use them to create some fine pieces of art for you. But, what I make is up to me. I am the artist here, after all. I'll be expecting some praise too. Is that it? Welcome, what kind of art shall we make today? Something not very heavy, that you can hide under your school uniform. You have unexpectedly strange tastes in art. Well, different strokes for different folks, I guess. I'll try out a few things. Okay, so, we'll just generally do that. Sell. There is nothing to sell. We'd sell our soul drops. Probably seems like a bad idea. Alright, weapons. So right now we have the golf club, which is... Um... Can I see what our current stuff is like? No. Okay. Uh, well, let me try this. Ah, there we go. So, this would increase our attack by 9. Okay. If I look at Yosuke, he's got the hunting Nata. So that would increase his attack by 8, but also increase his hit by 6. But 90 hit is still going to hit most of the time. Okay. So let's go out of here. Let's have a look at armor. So armor-wise, uh, if I go to do this, this is better, right. So that gives us an extra 8 defense, but lowers our 
evasion, I think? But an evasion of 12, assuming this is percentage, which I don't know if it is, but an evasion of 12 means that we would dodge like 1 in 10 attacks, maybe? That doesn't seem very useful. But the defense does seem useful. Um, I think we buy chainmail for both of us, and that just seems like a good move. I think defense is generally going to be useful. You want to sell the t-shirt? Of course, why, why would I ever need a t-shirt? Chainmail's good for every kind of social occasion. Yeah, equip it. Of course I want to sell it. Okay. Uh, accessories? So right now we have a wristwatch. Which does nothing. Okay, so we can get strength through endurance. I don't know what endurance does. I assume that's health and strength is strength. Yeah, so this seems like a straight buff. You know, I don't know what the death conditions are in combat, but I'd assume that if we die, then that's like it, right? So I'm thinking I might buy an endurance one for us. Yes. Yes. Cool. And I'm gonna buy the strength one for Yosuke. Yes. Okay. This might be bad, but now we have no money for weapons. But that's okay because we have armor and we just increased our strength. That might be really bad. I don't know. How much does this sell for? 10. That seems bad. Okay. I'm going to leave now. I might have made a horrible choice. But hopefully there's grinding in the game. Wait, because I think there's grinding in these games, so. If we have, we might be able to sort it out. Oh. There's a bizarre door before you. It seems the others can't see the door. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. We have been expecting you. Oh, there's a new person here now. The catastrophe that is headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Yep, you've said that before, but I still have absolutely no clue what you're talking about. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. Hopefully only metaphorically. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. You recall that you have the magician social link with Yosuke. It seems that when a persona of the magician arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who
who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> it's the unfriendly looking girl. Marie? Yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. And that explains why she kind of was jumping around places. Okay. The girl seems unfriendly. You feel like you've met her somewhere before. I've met you somewhere. Dot, dot, dot. Huh? Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her, this is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up! Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. Doesn't really seem like she wants to be here. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. What? Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? Which ones? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. Okay. Advance the main plot, don't just go and do side quests every day, you only have a year to do this. Got it. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. Okay. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. That implies a lot, that implies I get free will at some point. That'd be cool. Oh, I can do whatever I like. I can run around. Oh, yeah. You know what? Maybe giving me free will was a bad move. Okay. I'm going to save. And then, I think that this is the perfect point to end the episode. And next time, we can jump directly into the, well, TV, I guess. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.